This is Dennis Sullivan. Today I would like to talk to you about community property, what it is, and what it means in the context of a marriage and a divorce. Texas is a community property state. That means all of the property and all of the earnings of both spouses during the marriage is presumed to be community property. Community property can be defined as property owned by both spouses. Because the property is owned by both, it does not matter whose name is on the title. Houses, cars, stocks, bank accounts, retirement plans, and any other assets are presumed to be community property if acquired during the marriage, no matter whose name is on the title. Just because the title to something is only in one of the spouse's name does not mean it is not community property. The exceptions to this are if the asset is a gift, an inheritance, or some parts of a personal injury settlement, or if it can be shown that the asset is already separate property. Separate property is property owned by a spouse before the marriage or received by gift, inheritance, or personal injury settlement after the marriage. The determination of property is a key determination in how the marital assets are to be divided between the spouses. Any property that is separate is awarded to the owning spouse and it is not divided. Separate property does not have to remain in the same form. For example, stocks can be converted to cash, or a piece of land can be sold for cash, or cash can be used to purchase land. If the property was separate, it will remain separate through the change of form. By statute, all property possessed by either spouse during or upon the end of the marriage is presumed to be community property. It is then up to the spouse claiming that some of the property is separate property to present clear and convincing evidence that some of the property is separate. This can be done by tracing the property throughout all of the changes it may have undergone. For some things, such as real estate, this is relatively easy to do. For other things, however, involving cash and other negotiable items, tracing the property to prove it as separate can be very difficult. As a result, if you find yourself in a situation where you are attempting to save your separate property or your spouse is attempting to argue that community property is actually their separate property, you need a lawyer who understands how separate property can be identified and how it cannot be. The lawyers at Step and Sullivan are those lawyers. We are more than happy to meet with you in person, observing social distancing, but can also meet with you through Zoom, Skype, or simply over the telephone. If we can answer any questions you have or if you need additional information, we're here for you. We work one-on-one -on -one with our clients to focus on the outcome that is most important to you. At Step and Sullivan, we make it personal, powerful,